Okay, so it's Friday. Um, I almost working off no sleep. I know I didn't vlog all this week, but it was hectic. And Bay is here, so. It looks a hot mess. It's trash. Um, but yeah. We just got here getting everything. I'm ready for this beer. But I work on that. Um, let you guys know how we're feeling in the morning. Yep. Alright. Alright. We made it to Denver. Okay, now we had we had agreed that we was gonna take pictures of every sign. But unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. We only got the Iowa sign. The Nebraska sign wasn't even on the side. It was it. It was on the E-way. And then um, shit. Then we didn't even see the Colorado sign either. So, so yeah. But we made it to the we had the west and safely. It's getting dark because ain't a lot of lights over here. So we made it safe and sound. We good. So now. We all finna crash, get some sleep. Yeah, it's only only two of us drove. So the other two, me and my sister Cara, wifey and, and uh, sister Camille drove in here. Me and Cara are gonna, gonna, gonna take over them driving the rest of the trip more than likely. Yeah. Just checking the hotel with Devil. We're almost there. But this is where we check in and sleep. And then we get back up and get back to it. So we went to Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska. Three states. And now we in Colorado. Almost there. So tired. Gotta get some sleep. Can't see the view, it's too bright. Come on, Cheryl. It's me. Mommy! Like an odd little vlog. I'm showing you right now. Hey, guys. Put welcome. your dress down. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm like life with the day. Okay, all of that buckaroo. Right. Toodles. <laughs> Super cute out here. Yeah. You wanna jump bang? One, two, three, jump bang. Place up, place up. How to show, how to show. Walks away. <laughs> and scene. Yee yee, yee yee. I'm dead. Um, I figured I would navigate, so I don't know how with your beef is settled, but, uh... Um, yeah, I can't get out of there. You, mean, you want me to navigate? Hello, no, vlog. Good sheets. Okay, let me stop. Babe looking fresh. Packing the trunk back up. All the kitties. Oh my goodness, that's probably so warm. Be careful, is it too hot? Yeah. <laughs> but you want to say something? No. Okay. <laughs> He's hot. He's ready to eat. And he needs coffee. We're about to say goodbye to dinner. Even in the shadows. Baby, kiss me. Your heart is flowing, and I'm crashing into you. Baby, kiss me before I turn.
Man, this is amazing. Look at this. It's, I guess that's a, a river. Look at this. Look at this. This is now. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is why. This is why we do road trips. Okay, I gotta take it to the back. This is amazing, y'all. Look at this. Come on, child. Come on. I'm gonna take baby to the bathroom. We in Colorado. We had to take. A, we had to take a quick pick stop so my baby girl for pee pee, and we can enjoy some of these views. This is amazing. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh, nice. There's trees and stuff in the way. But it's there. Nonetheless, it's there. Look at that, y'all. Y'all can see what I see. Look. Amazing. Where are we? What mountains are these? Uh, right yeah. I know it's some red rocks. Um, we're halfway through Colorado. Finally. Close to Utah. Yeah, so basically, like you said, just try to have a job lined up. If not all the way lined up, like be on your last interview before you start looking for a place. And possibly have like two opportunities lined up, even if one is part time. But it's because for whatever reason out here, and maybe it's like this more places too, but when they say you got one job, they don't care if you work 10, 20 hours. All of a sudden, it's they like vultures. So that's been happening to us. Like we've been applying for new opportunities, new opportunities, like one after the other, and they just been following through. But um, as of the last like few months, we've gotten a lot of different opportunities and interviews, and it's like, what has been it? Right. So there's that. Um, of course, look into like what's needed and like what's most popular. So like. I personally had an interview on Amazon, so and basically uh, I've been applying there since I got here, since June 2022, and for whatever reason, it was it kept it was the same results. Like I applied, I got a text message or email saying set up my interview, schedule my interview send you a link you click on the link there's no available slots for an interview so Crazy. i like that was since june 2022 i've been i've been applying and just a, a few weeks ago i finally got a breakthrough in 2023 and i was like oh wow okay <laughs> that was crazy but yeah and then oh sorry no that was it um, yeah, but I mean, so far so good. I got my interview set up, um, or they said it's a, basically a pre-hire appointment. So I'm just basically, I'm waiting for my background check and my, and my drug test results, which I know I'm, that's going to be, that's not going to be an issue. So, yeah. But, um, other than that, like I said, with the, I got an opportunity with the school system. I'm waiting on that. Same thing, background check to clear, mm -hmm. to clear. Um, but that's basically done. It's just the waiting period. Yeah. Like you said, totally. everything is taking so long here. Um, so you gotta be mentally prepared for that. Very Financially patient. prepared for that. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of Uber, a lot of Lyft opportunities. Uber East, DoorDash, like, I know some cities is oversaturated, but here is people still work. People, it's colleges. We got UNLV and it's another campus here, 
I don't know if they got on campus living like UNLV, but not everybody got a car worth finding out. Yeah. Which you need a car here. Yeah. Especially if you got a family, but public transportation here is stupid. Yeah. There's no it's trains. Like, it's like in Chicago we used to multiple trains that they could get us any and everywhere we need to go. Here is bus rides, like a, 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 a 15 minute car ride is, is most of the time a two hour bus ride. Not 15 minutes, it's like 45 minutes. I'm saying, I said, I said 15, 15 minute, minute car ride. Cause that's like where I work right now. We literally live 10 minutes away. And it takes an hour. It takes an hour. Well, Forty-five okay. minutes to an hour. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but, yeah. but that's from his experience of working at the airport. So we live yeah, like. So I have to go. That's a further. That's yeah. a further commute. But yeah. Oh, now that I'm bringing it up, that's something else we could talk about. So we live in the um, Summerlin area, and that's another god thing, y'all. Because when we were visiting, we were visiting like once a year since we got married, really, because his people live out here, but. Um, the last two times we visited, because we've been talking about moving, we kept looking around here, and I was like, I like this area. Yeah. At first, I really wanted to live in Henderson. Didn't know a lot about it. Did some research. We drove around. It was kind of like a, a big suburbia, um, which is a lot of the areas here, the suburbia. Yeah, every, like a lot of the areas that's not east of the city. Looks, looks suburban. Yeah. So, but yeah, we were, it was May last year. Mm -hmm. We were driving around and we were on a family trip and we was like, we got to take this big trip. Um, we ended up doing a timeshare to get like a super affordable stay, mm -hmm. which y'all, how many days you stayed in there? Five? No, we stayed in there four no, days. Four, four days. Because we stayed in the Virgin for two days. Yeah. Okay, so we were here for basically like a week. Yep. Um, and we stayed in, it was like Tahiti Village. Tahiti Village Resort, yep. Yep, and they so did timeshare. Right off Long Vegas Boulevard, so not far mm -hmm. from the street. So if that's, you know, if y'all want to, well, without the timeshare, it's still not bad, honestly, but you get a nice big, um, living area. It's kind of like it's big, well, maybe a little bit smaller than our apartment right now. But you get a living room, you get a full bathroom, um, it was a bedroom, pull out couch, kitchenette. That was important for us. Um, it was just, I mean, it was just a nice, you know, resort. They had multiple pools. Um, a lot of stuff for kids to do. It was cool. And adult stuff as well. Like, yeah. You know, like a club lounge area. Like they had those uh, parties and stuff like that. So it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was more than enough to do. We, yeah. We had fun. We had fun. Yeah. So, um, and of course we loved the Virgin. Like it was. Yeah. I, that's why I wanted to. The Virgin room I didn't was smaller. Leave. I didn't want to, but it looked, it just was. I mean, it's, yeah, it's more out there, but the kids love Tahiti Village yeah. way more. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they loved it way more. Um, but yeah, so we did that. We booked our flights like way in advance. I think in like January, because we knew we were coming. Um, but we had already picked time, like took off work, all that type of stuff. Um, well, you know, I don't think I was working then. 2022? No, I was. Um, Oh well, yeah, so we had, you know, did everything we needed to do beforehand for that. And then we were just waiting crunch time for like, you know, the hotel and stuff. And of course, like, you know, said we, we have family out here, but we wanted to kind of be on our own so we get our own experience instead of waiting on people and doing, you know, nothing against, nothing against the family at all. We was just like, let's just be us yeah. and figure this out, be the four of us. Um, so yeah, when we came in May, we were driving around and a couple of places answered us back to like see apartments while we were here. A lot of places didn't have appointments or the management wasn't there or blah, 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 blah. Didn't have availability, didn't have two bedroom, two baths. 
a lot of places had two bedroom, one bath available when we were coming. Mm -hmm. And it was like, nah. Nah, we need two bedrooms. We've had one bathroom. And it was that. So we were just like, we need two bathrooms. Um, and we saw the price difference wasn't that much. So it was like, let's go ahead and do it. Um, so yeah, he, like, B found this apartment on his own. Like, of course I had input. That was another hard conversation we had to have because I'm a like get it done type of person. Not that he's not, but I like to, I'm very short with my patience. Like I don't, to me, I never have time. But he was just like, you gotta take it easy. We gotta see, you gotta follow our timing. We gotta this, that, this, that. And I mean, everything worked out perfectly uh, for us to get this place too. So um, it's just funny because we were driving around one day and we end up, we was like, oh, we need to go to the top of the Target. And I remember the last time we had visited, we stopped at this same Target. And I was like, I think I remember the neighborhood. And he was like, yeah, vaguely, you know, yeah. The Target is like 10 minutes away. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I remember this neighborhood so vividly other than that target was because when we lived out here in 2017, mm -hmm. I worked in the Summerlin. Um, the Summerlin Mall. Right, downtown Summerlin. Downtown Summerlin, yeah. And we were here for only like five, six months then. But because I worked there, I was always passing through this area. So, um, yeah, like I said, it was a God thing. Like, we were looking at a couple other areas. Places near here, but like I said, I was really focusing on Henderson. It just wasn't working. Henderson wasn't working out. <laughs> so, but I like how we are. I feel like we're centrally located. I know we are kind of far from a few things, but not like we have a lot of stuff at our fingertips. Um, he made sure it was walkable. We do have a bus right here. It don't take us everywhere, but it take us to a lot of the main uh streets um what else there's a lot of food around here there's like three four grocery stores in walking distance because you got sprouts whole foods albertsons target so three yeah three well you got the walmart too but that's not really but that walmart sucks though yeah that walmart is better it's like it's a it's a not super walmart it's a um it's a bigger No, it's a regular one. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the one that's right here, not the not the market. Not yet. the not the grocery market one. Yeah, so, so it's a lot around here. Um it's a lot of big parks. Um schools are great over here. It's actually like a big soccer field across the street from a complex and if you having tournaments and stuff, it's a big tournament that's supposed to be coming up, so that's that's need to see yeah so oh, yeah it's, it's a good it's a, it's a good area real yeah. good area so anybody ask y'all you know what do you think about Summerlin a lot of people say Summerlin is overrated and I think we're considered like Summerlin West right yeah but it's not overrated it's not and if you could find something affordable I would say go for it because it's safe no place is perfect um but Summerlin has a lot going on um, like I said, it's something for everybody. Yeah. Um, and even when we bring people to visit, they're like, dang, we just went down the street from your house. Oh, we just went like three blocks on the expressway right here. We went two, two exits away. Like, yeah, yeah, everything is right here. Like, we don't have to go too far for anything. Right. Um, so, but yeah. What else you want to talk about? Oh, you want to talk about why, like, why wouldn't you want to go back to Chicago? Not negative things about Chicago, but like, because, because you love what here? Um, I mean, despite it, despite it, the heat, I, I, I still enjoy the weather. I right? get like 80 degrees at night, like, yeah, you got me. It got me so the weather, uh, uh, 
was quiet. It's, it's quiet out here. It's, it's, it's quiet like during the day and and the, and the nighttime. Like, Other than the motorcycles and the muscle cars. Yeah. Besides that, yeah. That's, that's, even though that's it's not excessive, but still we will hear it. We hear it. We hear some almost every day. Motorcycles and stuff like that. But Times on. I love the I love the time zone. So we we used to central time zone, but now we out here. Um, uh, is this considered mountain time zone? No, it's Pacific. No, it's Pacific. My bad. Yeah, I, I like this time zone. Two hours behind um, central time, so it seems like it's more than twenty four hours in the day. The days do feel longer. It feels longer than twenty four hours for sure. And even though the sun is going down sooner now that it's you know fall going in winter. It's still like sun going out at six thirty. It still feel like the longest day. Yeah. Um, let me think what I like about it. What? So one of my main things that got me excited about coming out here, of course, the weather, because over the snow. Like I love to visit, but I, I don't. I don't need to live in the snow no more. Um, the the adventures that we can take the outdoor. Like I'm really outdoorsy. And I'm trying to get him on board because there's a lot of family stuff we could do. Like we can go to like the lakes, we can go hiking, like plenty of hiking trails. And I know some hiking trails you gotta pay for, but like if you stay, if we stay in a lot of lakes area or like the surrounding areas, it's free. Um, we could drive, you know, to places in Utah, drive to places in Colorado. Arizona, Cali in four hours. So, like, I know we'll be out here for a few more years. I'm not sure how much longer God is gonna keep us out here, but I know we're gonna experience the West Coast. Like, we're gonna do some driving or flying because the flights are super cheap too. Because it's everything right here. So, go to Washington, go to Oregon. You know, like just, just seeing what's out here. Go to Mexico. That's that was my that was the biggest draw for me, um, outdoorsy stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I wish Bailey was up to tell y'all how she liked it, how she likes it. Oh, uh, um, I would say everywhere you go in the city is mountains. mountains. So Vegas is 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 in with inside like the. A, a circle or whatever it's just mountains everywhere you go to see no matter where you go in Vegas when you're up north you're in the west you know, east south it doesn't matter you're gonna yeah. see you're gonna see mountains and I think that's pretty that's pretty dope to see yeah different yeah. different scenery so every side of the valley you see mountain trees yeah, yeah kind of like we I mean like I like we told you on again going through some tough times but just the like the air I know that sounds weird but the air is different we it helps us to you know kind of recoup and you know shake off whatever we're going through or you know not hang on to the negative stuff because the sun is out it's barely cloudy when it rains and the sun come back out few hours later, you know, rain don't, like, rain don't stick out here either. No, um, except for a couple months ago. Oh yeah, that was crazy. And it rained for like a whole weekend, that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, but yeah, like, like you said, seeing them, I was like, I never stopped being in awe of, like, God's creation. Like, this valley is so beautiful, and I never thought I would see a desert being beautiful, you know? But, yeah, um, Cover everything. Yeah. Make sure you have a job lined up in advance. Make sure you have a car. Oh, you know what I was gonna say about churches. There are churches galore. Okay. I would say do your research. Try to find somebody that you know um, because all the churches know each other. They know somebody's from one church to another. So if you go to one church and you don't really, you know, it's not really your vibe. It's not really what's for you, you'll hear word of mouth about another church. Just 
you know, just be open to meeting people and that's the best way to get ahead here is like make connections. Cause everybody knows somebody. It's kind of like Chicago, like Chicago is so small. Big, but it's small. Like, somebody, everybody, and somebody knows somebody. Can't even tell y'all how many people from our generation and then our parents' generation know famous folks, you know, like basketball like, players, the R. Kelly's, the, like, what? Yeah, it was, it was so crazy. many people that grew up together. So stuff like that is the same thing here. People are like, yeah, I've been on, I've been in and out of Vegas for the last 25 years, last 30, 40 years. Like, what? Yeah, I knew. It's a lot of Midwest. It's a lot of people from the Midwest. Oh my God. Who It's a lot of we Chicago. We just met somebody yesterday. Just oh, met Saturday. somebody Saturday that's from Chicago. He was a, our Lyft driver. Yeah. And yeah, it was really cool. But a lot of people from Cali, they they left and came came out here, and they said that's the best thing they ever did. So they said it's so much going on in Cali. Some say Cali's overrated, and I. I used to look at them crazy. I'm like, what? Was... That's why I used to want to go. Well, we used to want to go, mm -hmm. like, uh, LA in particular. Uh, yeah. But, you know, so a lot going on. on. <laughs> Definitely a lot going on. And then, economically, yeah, we couldn't do it. It wasn't happening. We wouldn't have been able to find an apartment. Like, the one we're in now, not in California. No. Mm -hmm. no, not and we feel like this is a little pricey, but that's because... Was just, like the whole time we lived in the hood when we was in Chicago, yeah. it just didn't bother us because we both grew up in the hood, so right. And it wasn't too bad, right? But I mean, yeah, it's it's resources all over here. You just gotta get get connected, you gotta get plugged in, you gotta talk to people, um, and just do your research. You know, like don't just take it from us. Well, we just wanted to make sure we said something because we was looking up, we were looking up so many things mm -hmm. and a lot of people helped. Like I'm gonna put a lot, I'm gonna put like, I think it's like maybe four or five pages that I'm subscribed to that I watch like almost every day nonstop. <laughs> he got tired of, it was a couple of realtors I watched like faithfully. Let me see your phone so I can, while you, you, you go ahead and say some closing stuff. I'm gonna find them while you, while you say it. Um, well, I don't know about y'all, but as far as us, we need, we, we like good food. I mean, that's, yes. been, that's, that was a challenge at first, in the beginning, until we, um, we just, you just gotta, you gotta explore the city. Cause um, a lot of, uh, one thing for sure, people always, like when people in Las Vegas, they just think about the strip. It's just the strip, the strip, the strip, the strip, the strip. But it's so much more to the city of Las Vegas that you, you just got to go out. You just have to explore it. You just have to explore it. So you'll be you'll be surprised what you run into. We we, we found some 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 good food spots. Uh, actually, a couple of Harold's chicken spots out here. Mm -hmm. um, the one that's close to us, it was all right, but the one in Henderson is the one that reminds of reminds us of home. Yeah. Then we found out recently that Portillo's is coming in as well. <sighs> Can't wait for that. That's so why I said I'm waiting for the date. Okay, drop the because date, Portillo's. Get the date when Portillo's come out here. Oh, it's up. Everybody gonna be wanting to go to Chicago. Man, like, wait, wait, this is what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Portillo's. But um, yeah, um, I guess that's it. Okay, so Norma Gelly for sure. Yeah. I watched the watched heck two, out of Norma two, stuff. She watched almost all the videos. Shout out to you, Norma, and I watched you grow from a small creator to like you say Norma name out here. You like what? Um. Uh, Chris Brown, he's a realtor um, out here. He focuses on the Henderson area, but he does stuff all over. He does like foodie reviews too on his Instagram or TikTok. Um, Jacob's Life in Vegas, of course. If you've looked up anything in Vegas, you've seen Jacob. Um, it's one more. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's him. him. Yeah, that's Jacob. Oh, okay. I was, I was like, yeah. Well, I I'm looking, looking for that somebody. realtor who, like, oh my gosh. Pompsy, for sure. True. Pompsy be everywhere. Like, he does lives. So, that. And you know what? I was also excited to see like a lot of famous people come through here, not just to do shows, but like just to kick it. They got vacation homes. And that was one thing about Chicago. Like you never knew who you was gonna see depending on if he was downtown in Hyde Park or whatever. Yeah. Um, dang it, I feel so bold because I like to watch this stuff all the time. But I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna link it um, in the description so you guys can watch as well. It's just two more realtors, but they, they do like full reviews, neighborhood reviews, all type of stuff, and they update constantly. So every time something new comes here, every time something changes, they talk about it. Um, so shout out to y'all, because y'all helped us make, well really, he was already, Matt was made up, but you helped me <laughs> be convinced. So yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, our whole reason for making this was just like, don't be scared to take that leap. Um, if you hear God telling you to move, just move. If you hear God telling you to take that job that's across the country, away from your family, take it. Um, just take a chance. And worst that can happen, don't work out. Or go back home or, you know, what if it does work out? That's the crazy part we don't think about. We always think about like Thor, so. Okay, well, uh, if you guys got any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, we'll make more videos answering the questions. Shorter, of course, I know it's kind of long, but we just wanted to make sure you guys like saw, you know, saw a whole journey. We, I mean, yes, telling our business, but everything that we go through and we learn is like everything that we are have gone through and are going through, it's not for us. It's for other people to learn from. Um, so, yep. Hope y'all was encouraged. Hope you're excited if you're ready to move to Vegas. Um, and yep. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like and share. Thanks. Bye.